And of course, Esther was terrified. Because in those days, she wasn't allowed to go near the king unless the king had asked for her. So, <laughs> if what would happen is if the king didn't hold out his golden scepter to her, she would die. So, you can imagine how scary and how scared she must have been. Because she knew she had to do something to help her people. But on the other hand, if the king didn't hold out his golden scepter to her, she would die. And so Esther had a big decision to make and a scary decision to make. And Esther said to Mordecai, Okay, if you will fast for three days, and I will fast for three days, I will then go to the king. But Carrie, what's fasting? Thank you, Charity, that's a very good question. Okay, so fasting is when you go without something. So for instance, if I decided to fast chocolate, then I wouldn't eat chocolate. Or if I wanted to fast watching TV, then I wouldn't watch TV for a certain amount of days. Um, in this case, uh, Esther and Mordecai decided they weren't going to eat during the day. They would only eat at night. So they fasted their food and they prayed and they prayed and they prayed. For three days, they prayed and they didn't eat anything during the day. And so on the third day, the very brave Queen Esther decided, okay, she was not going to go and see the king. So she went to go and see the king. Luckily for Esther, the king was so happy to see her that he held out his golden scepter for her. And so she was saved and she didn't die. And so the king asked her, Queen Esther, what is it that you would like from me? He was willing to give her up to half of his kingdom, which was quite big at that stage. But Queen Esther only asked that him and Haman come and join her for dinner and for supper. And so the king agreed. So he and Haman went to um, go and have a dinner with the queen. And at the dinner, the king asked Queen Esther again, what is it that you would like of me? And so again, Esther asks that if they can come for a second meal. So, they, so the king and Haman agreed they would come for a second meal. So on the second night, after they'd eaten, and everything was so good, it was bitter. All the food was better than the first night. Um, she asked the king, well, the king asked her, what is it you want of me? And up to half my kingdom I'll give to you. And all Esther asked the king for was that she save his people, or that he allow her to save his people. <laughs> that she that he allows her to save her people and so she basically tells the king that her people and her have been sent to die and she would like to save them and so of course the king is now very upset and he wants to know now who on earth would dare to hurt the queen and of course Esther points out Haman because if you remember correctly at the beginning of the story I said to you Haman didn't like the Jewish people he didn't know that Esther was Jewish so of course this is now a problem for Haman so the king gets so angry with Haman that he ends up killing Haman so that Esther can save her people so, the king then wrote another decree 
giving the Jewish people permission to fight back um, against the Persians when they came and, and tried to kill them. And in this way, Esther saved her people. But Esther had to do something very brave first. And I just would like to say to you guys, in this town where there is so much we don't know, and there's so many things we don't know, and there's so many things we're scared of doing right now. We're scared of going to the shops or writing a test or, or going to school. I just want to remind you that whatever happens, God is always there for you. And all you have to do is pray and ask Him to be with you, and He is. So, in closing, I would like to pray for us. So, if you guys could close your eyes, um, I'd like to pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I just want to thank you so much for all the children that are watching this video right now, Father. And I just pray, Father, that as um, we are so unsure of so many things right now, and there's so much fear going on in the world. I just pray, Father, for your peace over these children, Father, and that you'll help them to remember that you are, they are never alone, Father, that everywhere they go and everything they do, you are always there for them. You are always with them. And Father, I pray that you will continue to protect them, to love them, to guide them, Father. I pray that you will help them to be brave like Queen Esther was, to stand up and to do those things that scare them, knowing, Father, that you are there and that you will never leave them. Pray these things in and through your precious name, in the name of our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Bye, boys and girls. <laughs>